what's happening guys hope you all keep them well welcome back to map tv and just before we head behind the scenes again on what's bomb performance i just want to quickly say to you guys a massive thank you for the support we've had on this channel i know i keep mentioning it every week but it seems to be growing and growing and growing and we've reached over 200 subscribers so we are very grateful for that so on this week's episode we're going to jump behind the scenes again and it's been a busy week at motorsport performance so let's not waste any more time let's get into that workshop <laughs> right so we've got this 15 gt in today and grab a blue it's been here for a couple of weeks having quite a bit of work done it's one of our full builds more or less we've got Loads of suspension on it, BMR springs, I've just put some IRS braces on, some jacking rails, IRS base kit, the usual map performance suspension packages. I've just been installing the Kooks long tube headers, the three quarter inch ones. Uh, they're all on and done now. An 18 manifold on it as well. We've still got the IMRCs working to keep that low down drivability. It's a good car this and I've not started it yet so you've joined at a good time because we're going to do its first start. -up. So the 18 manifold's all on and plumbed in. Uh, it already had a steed of cold air intake with the insert, so we've removed the insert for a bit more power. Uh, we should see over 500 wheel horsepower with this. No, that's not right. 500 <laughs> brake horsepower. <laughs> So Teddy's installed the 2018 manifold and the head is onto his car now. He's got the steeder open air filter on it, but we've taken the restrictor out of the actual intake tube. So to get this car up and running, we need to do some alterations to the math, adjusting the math scale so that the ECU can get the right airflow calculations and stuff for the larger math sensor, well, math housing. So I'm gonna adjust the tube, start a base map, just to get the car up and running. I'm going to build it from his original tune that comes from this car on factory. Uh, we've done plenty of these setups before tune wise, so uh, I'm going to use something similar to compare against, copy some changes across just to get it, get it up and running, and then we'll get it on the dyno and fully dial it in um, to get the, the best out of this specific engine um, because every, every engine is different. So I'm going to do these changes and then get it up and running. Make sure there's no leaks from the exhaust manifolds or anything like that, and then we can start the tuning process. And following from last week's course, how are you getting on with the Roush supercharger? So the Roush car is almost back together now. The oil pump and crank gears are all installed, engines all timed back up and stuff. The supercharger unit's back on the car. A few little last bits to do and then we can think about getting the Roush tune flashed into the ECU and get the car up and running and again check for leaks make sure everything's running as it should and then we'll be putting it onto the dyno doing some data logs just to confirm that it's running correctly before the customer collects it. Sweet. And then after you've um, started the tune out on this car have you got a race car to tune? Yeah, so we've got Joss's race car back. So we're going to stick it on dyno today. Joss has done some adjustments to the exhaust because it was touching the anti-roll bar. Hopefully that fixes it. If it doesn't, we're probably going to have to remove the supercharger and fix somebody else's work again. But it is what it is. Get that tuned and then that can get onto the racetrack. Right guys we're gonna end the vlog there make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on the upcoming content that we have in store because there's a lot coming out make sure you hit that like button comment if you can and we look forward to seeing you guys in the next video